Ben Winwood has a spinal cord injury and struggles to walk long distances. He finds it hard to socialise, but a local food stall has changed that. It's really helped me to connect with different people and meet different people in the community. Grow Waverley provides more than friendship. At peak times, they hand out 2,000 kilograms of produce a week and help up to 150 people a day. But after 19 months, the stall is closing, leaving the community without a vital service. Not a lot of people drive up there. A lot of people are elderly and might have mobility issues. Um, so just access to some of the services in the city are you know, difficult. Research from the University of Tasmania shows one in five households are struggling to put healthy food on the table every day. It's leading to poorer health outcomes. That people on low incomes and people whose incomes have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic in particular were at substantially higher risk of food insecurity. The Tasmanian government says it's working with stakeholders to develop an action plan for its food security strategy. It says it's invested more than $10 million in emergency food relief since 2018. We need further investment in the solutions that work in every community. And they're going to be different for every single community. But what is not different is that investment by government is needed. And simply throwing money at emergency food relief is not enough. But sustainability of service um, can be best built when it is community-led and community-driven. April McLennan, ABC News.